Hi, I'm Katrina Garvey. I'm a regular visitor to both the Queensland Art Gallery and GOMA, the Gallery of Modern Art. I'd like to share with you some ideas, some information about APT9. It's really worth coming to have a look at the exhibition. It's on now until April 2019. And entry is free. Wow, have a look at this artwork behind me. It's full of bees. It's amazing. The photographer who produced this work is passionate about bees and has taken a couple of extreme close-ups of bees. The reason being that world bee numbers are declining because of pesticides and poisons and environmental issues. When you get up close to this, you can see how tiny the bees are, but the picture is enormous. It's an extreme close-up of the bee. It is absolutely amazing. It's really worth coming to have a look. The bees are all alive, and you can see a number of photographs in the next room as well. You can see a number of photographs on the wall here beside me. Wonderful black and white photographs. The photographer comes from Okinawa, which is part of Japan. And the reason that these photographs are here is that Okinawa was the site of bombing throughout World War II, which really destroyed the culture of the people who lived there. American people have a base there, an army base and several other bases. And the sense of identity of the Okinawan people is that they don't feel part of Japan anymore. They don't feel the same as other Japanese people, which is really unfortunate. They felt as though their culture and sense of identity, that Okinawan way of life, was really ruined because of what happened to them. In 1972, there were attempts to re-establish the culture and a sense of identity, but that's not been successful thus far. They don't feel accepted by other people in Japan. And that's what the photographer is trying to express in these works here on the wall. I think it's worthwhile for you to come along and have a look and you'll work out for yourself what it is that the photographer is trying to tell you. Look at this. It is beautiful. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this. It's an extraordinary piece of work by a sculptor who had previously studied architecture and then decided to become a sculptor. The work's amazing. The person who produced this work wanted to show you something of their life. When he was a little boy and was working in Dalag Click. In that particular area, in the home that he grew up in, it was a very traditional way of life. There were lots of people who would come to perform and be on tour and throughout his childhood, he heard lots of jokes and storytelling about everyday life. He then wanted to express those stories in an artwork. He wanted to show what life was like in his home country. I think if you get up close to this work, you'll be able to see the fine detail and the extraordinary handwork. I was amazed when I first saw it. Look at this artwork behind me. It is amazing, an extraordinary piece of work. It's worth coming to spend the time to look at the entire thing. The artist who produced it is from New Zealand. She made everything that you can see in the artwork, including the costumes, the paintings that make up the background and the foreground, the use of technology, everything. She had to make the costumes herself because she wasn't able to borrow them from a museum. She then thought, well, I'll just have to make them myself. Have a look at the work. It is incredible. The costumes and everything that you see there, the story is just so rich. The point of this artwork is to talk about the effect of British colonialisation. She wanted to tell that story of the impact it had on her country. It's really worth coming to have a look at. This is a really unusual work. I thought it should have been on the floor because it's a carpet, but here it is displayed vertically. The woman who produced this artwork is from Pakistan. When you look at it, 
you can see a lot of extraordinary things. There are lots of textures contained in the artwork. It's just beautiful. When you get up close to the artwork, it's even more amazing. Because of what she made it from. It's full of pins. You know, the pins that you would see in clothing normally. She has inserted each individual pin through the material to produce this pattern. You can see that when you get up close yourself. The work behind me is amazing. Look at those red eyes that just stare out at you. It's a very powerful repeated pattern that we see here. The person who produced this is a photographer. And what we see here is a montage, a series of photographs put together. And the point of this is to represent the person's culture. Because many times people from different countries don't believe that, for example, the Hawaiian Islands has a culture of their own. But they do. There is plenty of evidence out there to say that they have a culture. And this artwork represents that. The artist is trying to represent that to the audience. I love this artist's work. It's very, very powerful. And the reason is that if you get up close to the work and have a look, you will see that there are lots and lots of nails that are hammered into it. I'd like you to come and have a look at this one yourself. APT9 has a kids program that has eight interactive workshops, hands-on technology and computer activities created by APT9 artists specifically for children and families. I'd also like to mention on the last Sunday of every month, there are always Auslan interpreted guided tours from January to November every year. Remember, it's the last Sunday of the month. If you'd like more information, have a look at the gallery's website.